guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynette and the tourism channel where we talk about tourism travel, all those amazing things. So today I'm joined in by these amazing ladies. Mm -hmm. Uh on on the on the left leftest. <laughs> on the far left is Nubs and she will introduce herself further. And then here we have Eddie and she'll also introduce herself. But like you can see from the title of this video, we're going to talk about West Beats. Um how they are cons perceived in our cultures, what we think about them. Would you wear a waist bead? When you saw, if you see someone wearing a waist bead, what would you think? You know, but if it's your first time on my channel, feel free to like this video. If you like, subscribe over there. Mm -hmm. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know if you have a waist bead. Have you seen a waist bead before? Do you know anything about a waist bead? Otherwise, let's get to know these ladies better first. Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting. Okay. Hi guys, I am Eddie. Uh, I hope I, I think you have actually seen me on this channel at some point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are very common faces here. Anyway, uh, nice to see you. Uh, subscribe to my channel, K on Life. You can also go there and look for it. There, there, there. Yeah. Subscribe. I'm going to put the link in the su subscription. I'm going to put the, <laughs> the link in the description box again. <laughs> I thought this was my thing. <laughs> yeah, Nabs, please. Hi guys, Natara is the name. Um, my channel name is also Napsara. I do travel and lifestyle. Check me out. The link is in the description box. Okay, thank you. So, like I said, we're going to discuss West Beats. Wait, the way you're pointing. Just bring, just bring the West Beats with me. Oh, so I just carried just a few West Beats. Yeah. Um, recently, I, I, you know, lo we're in lockdown currently, and um, you know, I just trampled upon a page and they were selling west beads mm -hmm. i have seen west beads around personally i have carried out some research on west beads i have wanted to wear west beads myself mm, you know yeah and uh, i have seen people wear west beads you know in uh, gyms workout areas you know they put them on their workout gear i've seen very many black americans wear west beads but you know west africans wear west beads on their culture like it's part of their culture wear mm. acholis langis northern and most northern tribes they wear Brand west beads beans. yes so I wanted to bring my girls here because when I posted some pictures of West Beads on my status, I got a lot, a bit of, not so much, a bit of backlash, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. Some people are like, how could you post that? Oh, you know, right. those are only bedroom matters. Like, ah, talk about okay. it slowly. Slowly, but now if you talk about bedroom matters slowly, how will we all know? Ah, because there are some bedroom matters that actually need to really be talked about. I don't know. Right? No, we need to. The more we talk about them slowly, that's the because no, I think I think the reason why we really think that we have to talk about them slowly, of course, it has a lot to do with our culture. Yes, so it's they, not they something we just talk about, about anyhow. Slowly. Yeah, tomorrow go get tomorrow go get about bedroom matters. Yeah, so that's why I brought these dolls because I figured I couldn't do the video on my own. I mean, there's a lot of opinions from different people. So I wanted to ask these girls, first of all, what do you know about West Beats? Hmm. They don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, no, the, no, the, the thing <laughs> is, that, yeah, mm. I usually, I think whenever I hear about West Beats, it has everything to do with um, how you look in the bedroom to entice your mind. I think I, I've heard that some men like them. Mm -hmm. From the same sessions that I have been working <laughs> and, <laughs> and not to attend. <laughs> it looks like Eddie has attended yes. a number of them. <laughs> I, I have, yeah, I have. I have. Yeah, I In those bridal showers, I have attended a number of sing like about three oh. single sessions. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lucky and, <laughs> and usually, this is also touched about. Like, it's something that. Some men really prefer it. They they love to see, and I really think also it looks beautiful. Depending on, I don't know. I I've seen people put them on, and I think they look nice. Mm. Yeah, that's me. Okay. I I I mean, if I would put them on, would you wear a waist bit? in the bedroom? But what do you mean in the bedroom? You have to yes. wear this part mm. of you. So you want to do it at night before mm. the action, and you and you put waist bits mm. then after you take it off. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that's what do you think? Anyway, <clears throat> the first time I got an about was I think 2017 maybe. I just stumbled upon it on Facebook in a Black American group. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about twist beats. To them, it shaped them, like it shaped their worsts and all that. Mm. I remember I got so intrigued. Like, I wanted to talk to the trade twins, but I tried to make one. <laughs> it was a fail. Yes, it was a fail. Where did you just buy? I was in Nairobi where was I was supposed to buy it from. Ah. I, I didn't, I, I didn't I even know people be sell. Ah. To be honest, I didn't even know. Yeah. Because the person had, she was in America. Of course, she had someone to, that sold to her in America. Mm. I didn't know anyone in Uganda sold. Yeah. So, I think she, she told us how to make. I don't know if I, I watched a YouTube video, but I tried to make it as a fail. I remember it as a fail. Because yeah. I don't even know. What I, I'm, I'm actually it making fail. them now. It was the same yeah, way she learned. But mine was a fail and they just left it at that. Mm. And the next time I saw West Beach was on Instagram. I've, I've seen like, I think I saw a page selling. Mm. But then I saw some people put like in swimsuits with beads. And yes. So cute. Yeah, many yeah. like, people. I would definitely wear. I would definitely wear West Beats. Yeah. Yes. But you know, I, I just think for looking cute because it's like an accessory. You just look so good with it. Yeah. Maybe on, yeah, on, on days where you want to show um, skin because you have to understand that for some of us uh-huh. we can't just be comfortable showing our belly uh-huh. and so if you are not really showing it then the waist bit is not being seen and then now it is the whole point but, you but like I'm good. seeing very many people right now uh-huh. they wear like you know those long leggings or jeggings uh-huh, yeah, and then the, the yeah, they cover the and then the waist bit on top and like it looks the way so beautiful yeah. 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 The, even the, the person that I saw they wear high waist shoes Mm. Like it, it reaches the umbilical cord, then the waist beads are just yeah. so colorful. It looks cute. Yeah. Mm. So even as people that I've seen on, in the gym, what the workout people, mm. you know, they put on that workout gear and the like waist beads just li- you know, a little bit. Because there are yeah. different types of waist beads. Some people have ones that are really simple, like just one yeah, small just line. One small line. You know? I've seen someone with just one small line and it's up, it's above the umbilical cord. Yeah. So it's just like one line, comfortable. It's not Something. Really like, yeah. Very simple. Mm. Yeah, okay. and I actually have a few samples I'll be showing you guys after. Mm. But if it actually does really shape the waist, I think it is time for me. I, I don't know if I am too old for my waist to be shaped. But no, but I, <laughs> but I really need my because this anytime now this stomach will kill a person, so I need. Oh, by the time I remember, that lady said that the waist be helped her control her her, her, her belly, belly uh, yeah, her weight in her belly because. Mm. According to explanation, she got beads that are a bit loose, like you know those that are loose and fall a bit. So when they tighten, she knows I have, to, I have to do some work on me. And the way that I'm eating my lifestyle is that I maintain this size. Yeah. Mm. It helps her maintain the yeah. Time. And actually, mm. yeah, because thank you for bringing that out. Because actually, most people, when they say they help you control your tummy or shape you mm. some people are like how like you yeah, put the waist then the meat goes off yeah they no, take no, it literally it controls yeah, when, yeah. when it starts yeah. to tighten you know you have to check what mm. you're eating check my ways and all mm. yeah because because okay. what i know like even what the documents have read they say like because you know it, it it first of all the way it shapes you it can help you control your you know when you're wearing a tight cloth and you're very aware of your katami so you mm. keep putting it in mm. so when you have the waist bit on mm. and it's tight mm. if you try to breathe like hey, you, you uh, feel uh, uh, oh, you, you, it, it like will tight example, it will be like people madame people like, we are sitting mm, bad mm, here like this uh-huh. mm. then it gets uncomfortable you straighten up yeah so it actually helps you straighten your position uh, your sitting posture, 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 posture and then also like it they usually encourage people, like ladies to always hold in their tummies. Mm, it helps yeah. to like work on those muscles mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. after childbirth. Yeah, you work. don't just let it go when you sit, you hold it in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. So the waist bit reminds you mm-hmm. that, that <laughs> you need to do the work. Relax. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. That, that's what I've, I've seen and then uh, also the black Americans that have interacted with all that I've seen online they associate it with their heritage mm. you know they're in America but they know African cultures they wear waist beads so you find a black American wearing so many waist beads just so that they can relate with mm. the African culture mm. of wearing yeah. waist beads in yeah. West Africa they are so common and they're really seen in a proud way mm. you know that's why in West Africa actually very many ladies will wear them mm. and move around normally comfortably. yeah comfortably in school mm-hmm. while i was in school i remember there's this girl she's a karamajo a very beautiful girl funny how the world is crazy i met her yesterday when i was walking mm-hmm. what? after what after like 10 <laughs> after like 15 years mm. what? 
Yeah, and she used to have like three, four waist beat in her waist. Oh, and I was sh- shocked. I was like, like I, I, I used to be like, you know, because you we attach it to immorality. So when you see someone with it, you're like, he that Confident, guy, eh? confidently was. And she was like, yeah, that's my culture. And she would have them, she would have like six or something. And then someday she would put them in her suitcase. Sometimes weekend she puts it on. Mm. You know, and she had a very nice waist, like, you know, that they I was... Okay. Glass shape. I don't know if, if they want to shape But do you know, I think they helped. <laughs> but do you know, having just seen people give kids. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, into shape. shape. Yeah. Yes. Shape. Because my mom, when, I, when Anushka was born, I, mm. I didn't, because I didn't know. Then my mom, my mom is like, hey, but you have to like put so that her waist is shaped. Mm-hmm. So I think it has something to do Yeah, no, that. it does, because actually very many, like even <clears throat> Western cultures, and you are Westerner, you can correct me if you have heard about this. Well, I have seen Western friends, they put here to shape the hands, mm, they put yeah. to shape the legs, like mm, two, mm. and then they also put on the waist. Yeah, for the girls. I see a lot of, uh, a lot of kids there, mm. they yeah. have both here in the, uh, on the ankles, here in I the wrists, and, 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 and adopting it. Yeah. Because those that don't use waist bits, they just put like a, a black thread, mm-hmm. they put here, here for babies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I think it helps. Oh, much. and I another know, random thing. Sure. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it logically, I don't know how it was, but maybe it <laughs> never. No, they would have been insisting so much. No <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was talking to our help at home, and then I was telling her, "Do you know West Beach?" She's like, "Yeah, I know them. Senga sell them." Mm. And then some people think some people actually associate them to um, the bedroom part, but mm. they like some people even put charms in them. Yeah. How true that is, I charms don't know. I, do, I don't know. But people do do charms. You, why are you asking like No, you no, I know, but charms in the West Big. For, for the personal for so many, for, for me, so many things. Oh, for Mikisa. some people, Mikisa, yes. <laughs> for some people, Mikisa, um, to have a good aura when you're out there. Because um, you know, this is associated um, people, their partners. You know, because partly I mean, we associate West Big to culture. Yeah. Yeah. So actually one of the reasons why I recorded mm-hmm. this video is to see how do your cultures perceive it. Now in her culture, she's like they're usually sold by singers, the women who we think are experts on marriage, mm-hmm. sex, mm-hmm. relationships, mm-hmm. all those things in a culture setting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's like the the singer the singers, they usually sell the basic one at a particular price and they'll sell this one. Or well, we soaked it in razor mm-hmm. and what? So it's at a different price, mm, you know. Mm. So I don't know if it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we saw it in No, but also in our, in our village, there is a woman. Mm. Usually, her kids they have the beads all the time, everywhere. Mm. So when I was in Chile, I was like, "But what's the whole thing?" It's like, ah. Oh, for me, my children, I have to make sure that they are sorted. I'm like, how? <laughs> <laughs> oh my and God. <laughs> and I'm like, how? It's That's like, you see, these boys, you see these beads, these beads here? They're not just normal kind of beads. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. you tell me. It's like, every bead here means something. And it is for my child. Mm. For Mikisa, for love. For love, big love, having favor having because favor. I, you know, some, you, know so you meet someone so and then you find the person always eyes. has access to different people, exactly. different events, and people easily warm up to them, mm. you know. And then he was like, These are the things. So now, now in real life, I have kids, so <laughs> I don't know if it's <laughs> but you don't know the kids. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, they are just they are there because it's not because it's not like she, she is not the she's not like uh. She's one of those people that are struggling financially and all that. But when you actually think about it, people are is like it is easy for people to help those people, those mm. kids, and they are quite smart kids, yeah, especially in school. So al- 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 around the village, you would find that a lot of people who are doing a little bit well are always offering to offering support help, her children, offering to support all those so kinds of stuff. I think they are. <laughs> <laughs> I think those children are sorted. They are sorted. You know, so yeah, there are very many people look at that. And you see, yeah. some, like right now, because we have a lot of, um, oh God, how do I say this without being insensitive? So we have culture, mm. and also we have religion, mm. you know? So there's, there's, uh, there's a need, I think, to get, to break a middle ground. Mm. Mm. So mm. now you you find a woman whose culture allows her to wear a waist base. 
And then you find a religion whereby they look at West Beach mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. it's an evil thing. It's an evil mm. thing. It's witchcraft. They are ah. attracted to witchcraft and all that. So they see a woman having a West. Uh, it's because some people actually think women are sub- mm-hmm. use them. Some because someone was telling me, hey, they use them to be witch men. Yes, of course, some people use them to be witch men or to be witch people, but not everyone. And of course, even I think in in in, in churches, people can still be witch people going to church. I don't have to. Uh, yes, I mean seriously, when we're going to talk about religion and culture. That is a very sensitive <laughs> topic. <laughs> topic <laughs> that we need to. Yes, yes. I have no problem with and that. This channel usually <laughs> discusses very controversial topics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I have a feeling this topic should actually be on her channel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that you know? one. So that's why I called you and thank you very much for sharing. Just some last words about what you know about West Beats, what you have learned about West Beats in terms of culture and how it is. Because usually some also use it as a way to preserve their culture. Because yeah. I know the Karamajongs and the Acholi, oh, they, they even it. put it on their culture dance. Because I've done a video with this with the, with the Miss Tourism of Acholi, I did it last year. Mm. And when we were doing the Raka Raka dance, we had to have West Beats. Mm. So I put on West Beats, I opened my tummy. You know, and we danced. Actually, I was wearing this kind, this T-shirt. Mm-hmm. You know, so that is her culture. And even though you show your tummy a bit, it's not. Yeah. Immoral. It's not obscene. It's mm-hmm. not kusitama. Because mm-hmm. it's it's good. It's, it's their culture. culture. You know, that reminds me. There is a Karamajong friend of mine who is going to do her traditional marriage, and lockdown made me miss putting on that beautiful, beautiful yeah, that, that, attire. That I was looking forward so to it. Yeah. It is so beautiful. The beads, all the mm-hmm. oh my god, it's, the it's very colorful. Yeah, and well, cute. I just want to me too. I, I, need, I need another Karamajo friend who is still No, we have to just go to Karamajo. Yeah. <laughs> and when you go to visit their culture, Groups and, mm. and I think that dances they can dress you up and do. Yeah, they do. They definitely do that. Yeah. Do that. And I actually had to do a video with the mysterism of Karamoja and we had to tackle all that. But mm-hmm. uh-huh, your your last words about West Beads and everything. Me, I I like how colorful they are. They're creative. People should look. I know the culture things and maybe people can put charms. But I feel like for anyone that is interested in them, we should first of all look at the fact that it's an accessory mm-hmm. to make you yeah. feel good about Actually, yourself. Actually, uh, some esteem, Hello, confidence, esteem, confidence, whatever it is. Don't don't be afraid. Don't be shy to wear it. Don't be shy to show it off if you put it on in a bikini and all that. Let's just embrace it. It's it's beautiful and it will come back. We might throw it away right now. White will go and design it in a whole different way. Beyonce just. Just like put out a line of words, which you'll see everyone running. Yeah, it. actually, but they don't want mm. to pick it from, from right, right here. here. Yeah, yeah, waiting for some other celebrity or to, be person to, put it to out make there. it famous, yeah. add their touch to it, and then they go running. Ho ho, West Beach. Mm. As if there were no West Beach before. You see, the way people are running for anklets, mm. but we have the tradition anklets here. Yeah, those that were made local. So that's how people should look at it in my opinion. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Actually, when you said Beyonce, uh, when Serena Williams was pregnant, she did a photo shoot and she had a West bit on. See? Mm. Now, mm. do you know how many people jumped on West bits just by seeing her? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they are beautiful. That's a fact. <laughs> they look really nice. Uh, they are colorful. And like she said, I think we should look at them as accessories. Just the same way we put yeah. on earrings, yes. the same way we put on necklaces. I think that's <coughs> how we should also Sorry. look at these things. Also, let's not associate everything with bedroom mm. stuff yeah. and sex and everything. Hello, even Rinjaris. <laughs> <laughs> even Rinjaris. Why are we not? Why do we? Why, why do we find it okay for somebody if it actually entices your man? Please, mm. by all means, do it. put it on. Who cares? Mm. I think they're oh, okay. Oh, if they're like, you feel yes, good, then. if they make they make you feel good about yourself, if you're not trying to put them on, embrace. The waist Just waist. rock the waist beads. In fact, me, I am making my order <laughs> because I need this waistline <laughs> shaped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I think my final words about it is I've learned so much about waist beads. You know, I didn't know that even Black Americans embraced them so much. Mm. I didn't know there was a full community, like several communities out there of people who are literally thriving from the West Beat business. Mm. I started making West Beats. And of course, when I consulted some people, some that I actually thought would see it badly, so it very basically like, mm. yeah, those are nice, you know. I've made some samples and, you know, they're going to maybe empower some people in my community. But also, many people out there are looking for West Beats. 
and they don't know how to get them because like some are even shy. Like you know, they are very yeah. shy about mm-hmm. it. Like it's just like you know, they are very shy. Just like they are shy about very many other things which they might want to access, mm-hmm. but because they're like, huh, how can I even start asking? Mm-hmm. How do people think? How do people see? Mm-hmm. And you know, mm-hmm. many people have conceptions about West Beats, even anklets. Mm-hmm. When you yeah, have, when you wear an anklet, yes. people, people, people say things like, I remember one time there's yeah. a lady who had an anklet, and then some guy was like, you know, people who wear anklets. <laughs> Yeah, like this, like that, you like? Mm. Yeah, they say the, whole, the most horrible things about them. I'm not I know. Things. I want to say the it's, it's okay. <laughs> but I, anyway, I, you should actually create a page. It should be anonymous, kind of, so people can get these things from me. I swear. Yeah, I, actually. I've only seen one Instagram page, and that person, even, I don't know. I think I, I was following them on my old account. It's so uh they should just yeah. check out uh West Bid West Bid Baby. It's already an you Instagram already. account. Yeah. Wow. yeah. It took her since the account. Yes. I've already yeah. followed. Yeah. yeah, it's West Bid Baby. You yeah. just make your orders, you know, because West Beads are very personal accessories. Mm. You need someone's size and mm. everything. Yeah. And preference of colours and what. So you just DM me on West Bid Baby, just check it out on Instagram. I'll also you know, drop the link mm-hmm. in the description and just so check you it out. Get yourself some waist yeah. yeah, and you know, embrace mm-hmm. them. They are mm-hmm. a form of like mm-hmm. confidence, like you said. Yeah. Their accessories, they're very good with swimsuits. They're very good with, you know, those high waist um, leggings, leggings jeggings, all those workout gear. <coughs> so, um, otherwise, we're still in COVID. Wear your mask. <laughs> we're still under lockdown. Wear your mask. Stay safe. Yeah, until next time. Yeah, bye bye.